Hey, it's Duke Ferguson. I want to share with you something that I just learned, and it's something I should have known maybe in the past because I have used gunner kennels for quite a while now, and this is something I didn't know. Um, dogs with anxiety, or like to break out of crates that chew them, okay? So one of the things I, I've seen in here when I've had dogs, and I do a lot of different type of training, uh, working dogs, uh, pet dogs, so when we bring them in, um, sometimes they like to break out of kennels. Normally, I would recommend an impact, but they're really costly to ship and to get here into Canada. Um, Gunner Kennels, I thought, wouldn't be the best at first, because originally I've had dogs come in, you can see where they've started to try to chew, they quit, but I've always said, hmm, what if I had a, severe, a serious case, right? So, Ultimately, when someone's going home with a serious case, when a dog breaks out of a kennel, they're gonna do it again and again or try harder and harder each time. So you need a kennel. If you have a dog that's breaking out of a kennel, you need a dog that's, you can't. You gotta take that option away. They can't break out, they can't win. And the thing is, if it's been reinforced a few times, they'll try really, really hard to the point where they will hurt themselves. So impact crates with anxiety, right? Those, those crates are fantastic because the dogs are safe. The thing is, now, new, <laughs> which I should have known. Uh, Gunner Kennels, I mean, they have a lifetime warranty. Toughest kennels, man. If you look on their website, they're shooting with shotguns and they got them in crash test dummies and throwing them off cliffs. I mean, this is good, good, good stuff. I think if I'm in an accident, my dogs are safer than I am. Um, so here's the thing that I just learned about and that we're all happy with because I was recommending an impact crate to someone and it's, it's just really expensive, like I said. So. I was able to find this out and the cost considerably dropped and personally I find this a better kennel. Um, I have impact as well but these are so much easier to clean and to take around. All right so here's the kit it's a intermediate chew kit it's a chew kit they call it okay. So I bought one as well for this kennel because I deal with so many different dogs in and out um, and I don't want this to get destroyed by a potential chewer. So we have uh, the kit installed, right, ready to go home. And I'll show you this door. It has a, wall, a door kit, little frame, so it actually goes with the honeycomb shape and you just screw it in, all right? Versus this is what it comes, the door's already made. So if you have a gunner kennel, you can actually just get the kit and it'll screw on there. Really cool, all you gotta do is take that plate and that plate up, one screw, and keep the screw because that'll actually it'll look like that when you're done. All right, so then inside you can just take a look. Uh, you screw in right directly right into the kennel itself. You line it up, just screw it in, it was super easy to do. And now that's all, and it looks pretty good, right? If you look at the inside here, and you get your straight bars, right? and on the outside, looking in. Straight bars, lots of airflow. I have seen where people are messing with the dogs, trying to get their fingers and stuff in there sometimes. It's a bit of a pain, you gotta chase them, but <laughs> check this out. On this side, it actually matches the front pattern. All right? I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if you can use it, but it looks, it looks good. I think it looks nice from afar too. It's a little good aesthetic. Keeps people a little bit safe. <laughs> So that's one other aspect, safety, all right? Um, so I can't say enough good things about Gunner Kennels. I've been a customer, and we're just adding to the collection all the time and we're referring them to whoever we can. Best kennel ever. Um, I must say, if you're going to get one and you're thinking and having it for your dog that's to lounge, like to be in all the time, in and out, um, you need the big one, okay? They, they're not as super roomy. They're, I mean, they're good enough. Dogs don't need tons and tons of room. Um, you know, labs, 80 pound lab gets in here, no problem. Actually, and they also, I'll give you a little another thing. These are the intermediate size, all right? I've got, th I've got three of them right now in the truck, but, and I have a Toyota Tundra, all right? So with a Tundra, two intermediates fit, no problem. Slide in here, we're just gonna strap them on. Uh, but it also will hold one intermediate and one uh, of the larger one, okay? So I can put one of each, all right, which is good these look better <laughs> but it was sometimes you get a bigger dog if you're going to have a dog that's going to be lounging around in the house a lot um, 
just check size wise for comfort for that type of thing. But transportation, epic. The intermediates will even fit in the back seat. Like I said, I have a Tundra with tons of room to spare. All right. So I hope that helps anybody with dogs that have anxiety or crate chewers that are breaking out of crates. Listen, if your dog is breaking out of a crate, if it's done it once, it's gonna try it again. If it's done it twice, oh, it's gonna try it harder the third time. Here's what happens. When we start reinforcing the kennels and trying to uh, just put little additives to them, the dog's trying harder, uh, more danger for itself. So uh, they can break their teeth. They will try that hard to break their teeth, uh, break their jaws in bars that you just don't even know how they got their teeth into wherever they can in the kennels. Uh, I've seen dogs break through plastic crates in less than 15 minutes. Right? Wire crates are usually the dangerous ones. And when I say get a crate, just spend the money no matter, just safety. If you want your dog long-term and sanity, all right, do that. Don't skimp on it because there's, the outcome is death. You can get your dog to be hung up and, and, and damaged. Uh, they can have their bottom jaws removed. It's, it's not a good outcome. So get a good crate. And I recommend, uh, always recommended the impact uh, with the anxiety ones, but uh, Gunner, Gunner's got the, it's got it wrapped up so far. Hope that helps. So I hope you found that video of value. I definitely know you will if you are considering an impact and you get a gunner with the chew kit. <laughs> if you are uh, a pet trainer and you have a lot of dogs that are coming and going, if you're gonna get a gunner, get the chew kit to, with it. Don't, don't skimp on that, okay? Um, I'll set a link for your convenience down in the description to gunner's stuff. Uh, they get a lot of stuff. Their service is great, their business is great, their product is great, <laughs> everything is great about it. So I know by the price that you're gonna save though as well, I think you're gonna have value, so enjoy.